hello guys so in this video we are going to see the another question in this uh, contest that i have solved so this is the query questions we have and uh, let me go there okay so i have solved already this question so you can see the question we have given is the shortest uh, distance right after the road additional queries right so the question was saying you have given a uh, integer n and a uh, 2d uh, queries we have given right so array queries we have given so there is n cities number from 0 to n minus 1 and initially there is a unidirectional road uh, you can say from uh, city i city to city i plus 1 right and we have to represent uh, we have given queries right and queries which represents the additional unidirectional road from uh, city u to v and that represent ui and vi okay after each query you need to find the length of the shortest path from the ct0 to ct n minus 1 and we have to return the answer uh, where each ith value range from 0 to uh, the query query length minus 1 okay and answer at i is the length of the shortest path from 0 to n minus 1 after the processing the first i plus 1 queries so we have given some examples here right as you can see here right so the example was saying uh, we have given input n is 5 and queries we have given and the output is coming like this. So if, if you go to explanation, it is saying that uh, after the additional uh, of the road from 2 to 4, right, the length of the shortest path from 0 to 4 is uh, 3. Now, uh, after the addition of the road from, G, uh, from 0 to 2, the length of the shortest path from uh, 0 to 4 is 2, right? And uh, in the last expression is saying that after the addition of the road from uh, 0 to 4 the length of the shortest path is from 0 to 4 is 1 right so you can see we have to return uh, the answer where uh, uh, path shortest path we have to find the length right and to do that uh, you can see here we have give we have to do uh, we have given a uh, uh, n we have given and queries as the input and we have to create a uh, additional uh, adjacency list to represent the graph right and for that uh, we will create a graph right and uh, we'll put all the we will initialize the you can say graph and after that we will initialize the uh, default values uh, uh, like uh, i plus one uh, we will do from g from zero to n minus one in the graph right means we are in initially we are adding all the default roads right now what we are doing we are creating a result sets of the array so that uh, the result array will store here and we will find the shortest path after each query right so let's process each query so process the uh, to process the query what we have to do we have to go to zero to uh, uh, the queries right all the queries right and for that we will get one queries at a time and uh, at the queries you know that we have given uh, at query one at query some value we have given what ui and vi right so we will get u and v that represent the a representation of you can say additional any unit action rows from u to v right so we will get u and v now we will what we will do we will add on the graph u and v means we are joining the uh, two uh, you can say node right if you already gone through the graph right what we are doing we are uh, adding two nodes so uh, node 1 u and node v so we are adding the edges and we are connecting the edges right and for that uh, we have to perform uh, the operation to find the BFS means sort of distance we have to find uh, from CT 0 to N minus 1 we will pass the graph and the N N is the number of cities right road okay now this is the BFS things so I think you are already aware of the BFS in uh, the traversal if you not gone through my videos previously so please go and watch the other videos so uh, we have given we have to write the distance right so we will get the distance array will fill the fill the data right and then uh, we'll put on default value zeros right now what we will do we'll create a queue and we'll put the initial value zero if it is not empty right the first we have started with a zero uh, node you can say and we'll move to next node as you can see here from zero we first we will put in the zero then one then two then three then four right like that and then what we will do we will go to the all the neighbors of the node right so one by one we will get the neighbors so we'll, we'll get we'll get the neighbors and we'll find if it is max then what we will do we'll find the 
distance and we'll put the distance we will calculate the distance we'll do plus one and we'll add on the distance we are updating the value and then we again we'll put the uh, neighbor on the queue so i think you already aware of the bfs right so this bfs uh, technique we are implementing here okay and then we will return what n minus one uh, we'll do uh, distance at n minus one and we'll return if it is maximum we'll return minus one if it is not there will be some value on the uh, they are right and will return the value okay so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please hit subscribe to this channel and please write the comment uh, about the time complexity thank you thank you for watching